Hello everyone, welcome to KK4Z. My name is Scott and today I'm talking about culling the herd. I have too many radios and while in general that's not a bad thing, I feel that I have more radios than I can use on a regular basis. I, I like to use my radios, you know, semi-regular to keep them functioning. I have discovered over the years that if you let a radio sit too long, things start to happen to it. Typically corrosion gets somewhere or caps go bad or whatever, but you know, constantly exercising or flexing the radio's uh, muscles uh, keeps them in line. And I have uh, really about one or two too many radios. And so one must go. And uh, this go, it's gonna be my Yesu FTDX10. I've had this radio about a year and a half and uh, I have taken it to the field a couple times but in general this is where it sat inside my shack as a backup radio. Uh, I use it semi-frequently. Um, I have my main radio is my ICOM 7610 and what I tend to do is every other month I change radios going from my backup to my main to my backup just to keep them flex so it's really spent over a year sitting right here it was mainly used for cw i did a little ft8 but not much uh, very little voice uh, mainly cw mainly casual stuff the radio has almost never gone above 50 watts i normally keep it at 50 watts or below i'm not sure i've ever run it at 100 watts i may have gone as high as 65 but mainly it, it has stayed at 50 watts or below it's a nice radio it's also going to come uh, besides the portable zero rails it has the 300 hertz uh, roofing filter and i have a amplifier adapter cable for my uh, spc 1.5 uh, linear expert amp and so that'll come with it too because i won't need it anymore um you know why am i getting rid of it well most of my gear is icom centric i have a lot of icoms and i would have to buy a lot more stuff for the asu and i just really don't want to do that that and, and while i in general i like the radio obviously i liked it enough to keep it about a year and a half um the ergonomics are just a little off for me uh, i prefer the ergonomics of the icoms but it's got a good receiver i've done a lot of weak signal work with this i've made a lot of contacts where the um, where the power level was s0 and uh, i was able to work down the weeds so it, it's got a good receiver and it's it's um it's just not it's not a bad radio it's just i have too many and really what kind of has happened is I've gotten uh, through a trade, I've gotten a K3 Elecraft, and then I've upgraded that to a K3S. And so I think what I'm gonna do is sell, and I'm not using the K3 as much as I'd like to, because it is a nice radio. And so what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna pull this out and sell it, and then I am going to put the K3 in its spot right here. So, I went a little longer with this video than I planned, but I wanted to do a, a power on uh, test so you can see that the radio is functioning. I'm going to send some CW. And there you go. I have it set at about 50 watts, and that's about what it was putting out. So it, it does make full power. Anyhow, um, I'm going to sell it probably on QTH.com, or uh, you can see it on my website. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Hello, everyone. This is KK4Z Scott, and just giving you a, a quick view. Of the... On the radio. And one of the nice things about portable zero 
rail is that you can stand your radio up on end and nothing touches as you can see and I, I've used this quite a lot when monkeying with the radio and I really feel it's a radio saver so here's the back of the radio or the bottom of the radio I should say and the serial number all right that's it it's in really really good shape